What is it about trees? Throughout history, trees serve as important symbols of life, longevity, resilience, and our connection to the natural world. Their roots in the earth, limbs reaching towards the heavens. The places that we can gather around and, and sit in the shade in the summertime and, and chat with our friends. The creatures that clean the air for us. They draw in wildlife, of course, into their branches for food and, and, and nesting places. And then there's a whole hidden world, the microbial world, inside the leaves and below the tree in the ground. Every tree around us is connected and talking with little chemical whispers to other trees around it. Here in Boulder, our urban trees now face two unprecedented threats. One is extreme weather events fueled by climate change. The second is from a tiny invasive insect that's already killed millions of trees across the U.S. Right now, Boulder is experiencing an epidemic with emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer is a non-native beetle that was introduced to the United States in the late 1990s. It's killed over a billion ash trees in the Midwest and has slowly been marching its way out towards us. First thing is, you cannot wait until it's showing signs of disease. The emerald ash borer is very difficult to spot in a tree until it's too late. I have unfortunately already had situations where people ask me to come out and look at their trees, only to find out they were already on their way to death. A slow-moving natural disaster EAB will kill more than 70,000 trees in Boulder, nearly one-fifth of our leafy tree canopy over the next few years. Extreme weather events, other insects, and diseases could quickly compound our losses. Should this be a wake-up call for us to pay closer attention to our trees? Losing this many trees from our neighborhoods will not only affect Boulder's aesthetics, it will damage our ecosystem. Trees reduce storm runoff and noise, filter out air and water pollution, convert CO2 into oxygen, and reduce energy use by shading our homes in summer. Losing mature trees can even decrease property values. So what can be done? We have a lot of clients that are treating, which you know I would highly recommend, but I'd say that the impact on Boulder County is, for the most part, we're gonna lose a huge portion of our ash trees. It's not a maybe, it's a certainty. If you do not treat them, they will be killed by this bug sooner or later. Every single ash tree in Colorado is going to die from it unless it is treated forever. It's expensive. It has to be done every other year. Once your trees have it, it's, it's not good. You can treat and still maybe keep it under control, but if you're not treating and you're anywhere near Boulder and you have an ash tree, it's kind of a done deal. But we have to remember there's a trade-off there. We have to use some pretty, pretty strong chemicals to be able to keep that ash from dying. If you're not already treating your ash and committed to continuing treatment for a long time, consult a certified arborist to see if it's still a viable option. What else can we do? Is Boulder destined to lose 20% of our tree canopy? You have to remember, if you've ever seen a picture of Boulder at the turn of the 20th century, there were no trees in Boulder. All the trees that are here have been planted. Boulder hasn't always been a tree-friendly environment. In fact, our early pioneers and settlers realized they would need to create a network of irrigation ditches in order to distribute water across the landscape so fruit trees, shade trees, hay, and crop could be grown. Many of these ditches still carry water. These channels and our ability to irrigate during dry spells have changed Boulder's grassland environment into what you see today, a place where trees and crops can flourish. Everybody thought the American elm was the perfect shade tree. So many people planted nothing but American elms. When Dutch elm disease came through, Nothing was left, they had barren plains. After Dutch elm disease, people stopped planting American elms. And they kind of figured that ash trees were the perfect shade tree. They're easy to transplant. They're fairly nice trees, so people planted nothing but ash trees. How do we then step forward and not be passive victims of this, but to say we can't eliminate the em emerald ash borer, but we can choose how to respond. 
So we really now have to think hard about how we're going to replace that canopy, what we're going to replace it with, and how we're going to protect and sustain the rest of the canopy that we have. We've got to diversify our forest just as much as possible. We've got to get as many different species as possible. What we can do to combat the impact of those bugs moving forward is to plant a more diverse urban canopy that never allows one species to comprise such a large percentage again. And I recommend that they plant something that they don't really see in their neighborhood that isn't a large part of our urban tree canopy already. Boulder residents need to plant new trees as soon as possible to help restore our tree canopy and to check with an arborist to ensure the health of your existing trees. With nearly 75% of our canopy on private property, it's imperative we all act swiftly to plant, protect, and diversify our trees. If we don't, Boulder will be adversely impacted for years. If you are not an expert, find, find some help. Make friends with a good arborist. That's their job, they know how to do that, and they would be more than happy. These are people who love trees, and who love helping people find ways that they can love trees. Plant your replacement tree now. Plant a little tree close, but not right next to you, but close to your current ash, and then that tree will have time to grow and get big, and then you can just enjoy your ash for as long as it lasts. Don't plant the same tree that your neighbor planted. Plant as many different kinds. If you've got to plant more than one tree, don't plant two of the same kind. Talk to an arborist, talk to somebody who sees these trees. Don't just talk to the nurserymen or the, or the landscape architects. We're the ones that see the problems down the road. Boulder's been through tree losses before, and if everyone commits to planting one, two, or three trees within the next few years, we can prevent the adverse, long-term impacts of losing so many ash trees. Like Eben Fine, who in the 1920s got the community to plant 10,000 trees on Flagstaff Mountain after a forest fire, this is our historic opportunity to pay it forward. It's in our hands to collectively plant the trees of Boulder's future canopy. This is our time to step up, plant, and invest in our trees. This means planting more trees, diversifying the tree species in our neighborhoods, properly mulch, water, and care for young trees, protect established trees against construction and other threats, volunteer, or donate to Boulder's Tree Trust. Learn more about what you can do by visiting boulderforestry.org. Share this video and your knowledge with friends and neighbors. Together, we can reduce the impact of EAB and establish an even more resilient and healthy tree canopy for all to enjoy. Thank you.